Fight me. Told you we couldn't trust him. He'll find us. I can count on him. When does a nine-year-old get her own Terminator? It's okay, you don't have to tell me. <clears throat> it's back in 1973. My parents had a cabin at Big Bear Lake. And Dad and I would always go fishing in the morning. And, uh, Mom would wave to us from the dock, and I was just looking at her in the... Uh, and then the cabin exploded. I thought the boat was sinking, you know, but it wasn't water coming up from below. It was liquid metal. C-1000. Dad told me to swim in a straight line. Tracing his finger across my palm. You can do this, he said. You go and you don't look back. His last words to me and you, you knew them. How? It's an impossible memory. I, I just remember you taking my hand and, and, and saying those words. And I was just looking at you thinking, she's, she's beautiful. Dad told you to go, and, and... And then I jumped in and I swam. I made it to the dock. And I hid under it. The hops found me. And he pulled me from the water. And he said that he would never let anyone hurt me. He's the only person who has always been there. Except he's not a person. Right? He's a human-shaped thing that's been designed, programmed to gain your trust. Like if Pops wanted me dead, I'd be dead. This is what they do, all right? They infiltrate, they get close. Your Pops could have directives built in he doesn't even know about just because you two don't get along it's not about getting along this is about keeping you alive yeah well i was raised by a machine to kill cyborgs and survive the nuclear apocalypse i think i'm doing just fine thanks two naked perps try to blow themselves